Okay, so moving on to question eight. How do you make an aldehyde from a carboxylic acid? So unfortunately, making an aldehyde from a carboxylic acid doesn't just use one reagent. Um, it's you kind of the the certain reagents that you might use to reduce a carboxylic acid would be uh, like lithium aluminum hydride. But however, those reducing agents are too strong, and they'll reduce your carboxylic acid straight to an alcohol. So to actually reduce a carboxylic acid to an aldehyde. Um, we're going to add an extra step. So this will take place in two steps. The first is to replace the alcohol group with a chlorine. And then the second step is to use the following um, oxidizing agent. So I'm going to write it in two different ways. So this reagent is called uh, lithium tri tert butoxy aluminum hydride. So it can be written like this, or it can be written this. And basically this is what changes our chlorine to the hydrogen to get our final answer. Okay, so let's see what the junior tutor said. We are given some carboxylic acid and are tasked to produce an aldehyde. Recall the oxidation states of organic molecules shown below. So here they show how you can start off with an alkane, and then you can oxidize it to make an alcohol. This can be oxidized to make an aldehyde, which can be oxidized to make a carboxylic acid. And then we can go the reverse direction, carboxylic acid to aldehyde to alcohol to alkane. To get an aldehyde, we must reduce a carboxylic acid. However, carboxylic acids can be reduced using strong reducing agents such as lithium aluminum hydride or LAH. Strong reducing agents will reduce a carboxylic acid two steps down, such the final molecule would be an alcohol. Even using stoichiometric amounts will still yield an alcohol. What we need to do is to use a carboxylic acid derivative, which is more reducible than carboxylic acids. These carboxylic acid derivatives are acid halides, esters, and nitriles. The synthesis now would be to first convert the carboxylic acid to any of the derivatives, then perform the reduction. Here we will use acid chlorides. The flow of the synthesis is shown below. Yep, so this is what I used as well. But like the junior tutor mentioned, like you don't need to make a, an acid chloride. You can use other derivatives such as esters and nitriles. But there are a lot of different ways um, to do that. So I would say this is uh, one of the more simpler ways to remember. So this solution is correct. Thank you.